anybody ever told you they weren't scared going into a fight, they'd be lying to you. I fought to win. That's why I ended up working my way up to a full patch member of the Hells Angels. You know, I was involved in GHB, amphetamines, crack cocaine. Now I'm at rock bottom. If I didn't listen this time, I would not be here today. I never want to see a kid go through this. Powerful stuff. That's Joe Calandino. He's our guest here this morning, former Hells Angels member, but now making it his life's mission uh, to help kids and prevent kids uh, of all ages from getting involved with the gang lifestyle and dangerous life choices. Joe, what are some of the early warning signs that we should be watching out for? Well, some of the behaviors that um, parents and uh, guardians and, um, you know, family members should be watching for are a shift in behaviors. A first and foremost, you know, clothing, um, dual phones, um, his pro-social kind of people that he's hanging out with, and the list goes on and on and on, right? But the key component is for parents, adults, and safe and healthy role models to truly be able to have a conversation with their kids. How do we start that conversation? You start slow, depending on the age, you know, um, the younger, you want to start with choices. And when you're talking about younger, how young? I would start to create the dialogue as early as 10, 11 years old, you know. Just currently with the landscape that we're seeing, kids as young as 12, 13, 14 getting invested in a lifestyle they know nothing about. How are kids getting drawn in? How are they getting pulled in? Uh, peer pressure. Um, manipulation, you know, that sense of belonging that they're seeking. Um, they may not have a proper, you know, it, uh, group of individuals that, you know, they want to follow and truly they we just need to continually create that dialogue with so, so you're talking about the wrong role models, that like kids Correct. are idolizing um, older, sometimes older kids, sometimes young adults that they see as role models that may not be uh, having their best interest at heart? Correct. Okay, so let's talk about um, how we veer them away and some of the work that you're doing. Well, with us, um, Yo Bro, Yo Girl Youth Initiative has pro-social recreational uh, programs throughout various different school districts throughout the lower mainland, so activities. Um, also, we have a component that was created by Brenda Calendino, the co-founder of the organization, so there's a curriculum piece. We have girls' programs, we have after-school programs during school sp spring break. The key component is making sure that we fill the time of our children with proper, healthy, pro-social recreational activities. And on top of that, we want to make sure that the kids have safe and healthy role models that they can look up to. And this is interesting and an uh, amazing point. It's very important, of course, for our law for enforcement and for um, our parents to be feeding us these messages, but to get it from someone like you that's lived it, um, it must create another stream of important messaging. Absolutely. And also the educators, the school district and administrators play the biggest key factor in all this, but everybody else around it, absolutely. An important messaging that uh, a lot of people may be missing is that nobody, uh, depending on uh, your socioeconomic background, is immune from this, are they? Absolutely not. So tell us about that. Tell us about how people are getting drawn in depending on uh, where they're from and their background. Well, you know, depending on the background, um, we're seeing a wide variety of children make these choices. You know, the socioeconomical component and another component I think we uh, really need to address is the mental health component. I am not an expert in the field, but the educational director, Brenda Calandino is, and co-founder. So, you know, just creating that awareness, making sure that we understand where the kids are at. You know, um, drugs and gangs have no boundary, boundaries no boundaries at all. Absolutely. They'll find you, there's danger 
I, uh, it sounds cheesy, but there's danger lurking everywhere for our kids, <laughs> and it's a is. minefield out there, and we need folks like you out there helping us navigate that minefield. Uh, where do we find you? Do you have a website? We do. Our website is ybyg.ca. YGYB.ca. YBYG.ca. Excellent. Thanks so much. Incredible information, Joe. Thank you. All right, coming up, Mary has.